I like to think of our country as one home in which the interests of each member are bound up with the happiness of all. We ought to know by now that the welfare of your family or of mine cannot be bought at the sacrifice of our neighbor's family, that our well-being depends in the long run upon the well-being of our neighbors. The good neighbor idea, ideal, as we are trying to practice it in international relationships, needs to be put into practice in our community relationships. When it is, we may discover that the road to understanding and fellowship is also the road to spiritual awakening. At our neighbor's fireside, we may find new fuel for the fires of faith at our own hearthsides. It would be a fitting thing for an organization such as the National Conference of Jews and Christians to undertake this kind of project in neighborliness. I should like to see associations of good neighbors in every town and city and every rural community throughout our land. Such associations of sincere citizens like-minded as to the underlying principles and ideals would reach across the lines of creed or of economic status. It would bring together men and women of all stations in life to share their problems, to share their hopes, and to discover ways of mutual and neighborly helpfulness. Here, perhaps, is a way to pool our spiritual resources, to find common ground on which all of us of all faiths can stand, and thence to move forward as men and women concerned for the things of the spirit. <laughs>